the fire that happened here over the weekend, uh, was that a first in your term as mayor for dealing with something like that so local? Yes, certainly. We've really great fire uh, department and great responses. We've had other grass fires, but they've got on them quickly enough that uh, it never got away like this one did. But this was circumstances were such that the wind was blowing, the, it was low down on a slope and uh, a 40 degree slope, hard to get hoses up. Uh, the fire just raced up that and uh, into where the structures were. And they, the rest of the crew really had to get above the fire to try to protect the structures that uh, it was heading towards. There's a state of emergency and so um, firefighters were coming from other provinces to help and we managed to get some allocated to us so our fire department was fully manned by our uh, paid on call but uh, supported by the provincial forestry because it was a wildfire in the sense that it was an urban interface area and uh, difficult to deal with because of the structures that uh, you had to try to save. In the meantime, the grass is burning all around you, so it was uh, it was tough go, but the uh, fire department did really yeoman work. All of our staff did. Our um, clerks were working all night at the emergency operations center to try to keep the people fighting fires fed and getting a bit of rest, but uh, it was uh, a, quite an event, and we, it's something that we're going to, I think, have to prepare for in that uh, we'll try to do more mitigation in forest interface areas to, so they don't rage quite so um, aggressively as this was. And the tankers were, um, our fire chief said, we were lucky we were able to get them there right away and uh, that uh, I'm sure saved a lot of the structures that otherwise could have burned. Where were you when you got the call? Three of my sisters are visiting in the Soyuz and uh, we had agreed to be there as part of the family get-together. So I was away Friday and Saturday, got the call uh, late Saturday and uh, the, got back uh, yesterday. And I haven't heard the fire yet. The last thing in the year, a bunch of politicians walking around. So they, uh, But they did a phenomenal job in getting it uh, contained as quickly as they did. Um, it was 80% contained, at least with um, uh, the tanker guards uh, by uh, the time, by, by one o'clock on uh, Sunday morning. So that was, um, it was a, a relief to me, <laughs> uh, even though I wasn't here. It was uh, fortunate that uh, I knew no more structures were in danger. I know people that live on Nighthawk and uh, fortunately their houses hadn't burned. They were um, a little north of where the fire came up over the hill and uh, so they were able, but they were evacuated and everybody had to go. And the uh, fire chief said it was phenomenal the way people cooperated because they didn't have to waste time trying to tell people to leave. They immediately left when they were asked to leave. And in some cases it was uh, beneficial because then the uh, tankers could uh, drop in those areas knowing that uh, no, no people would be uh, uh, injured or so they could get the tankers on the fires a lot quicker by people cooperating, getting out of the way and not blocking the roads for the fire uh, fighters. So it was really good. They used to, they did it for the floods that we just came through and every neighbor helped neighbor with those and the same is true with this fire, which is a little more aggressive and a little more dangerous than the flooding we had. It was mostly rising, rising, rising water levels and not raging uh, water, so nobody was really in danger. It was just um, uh, creeping water into their basements that we tried to stop. But in this case, the flood or the fire was a danger, and uh, fortunately, nobody was injured, nobody was uh, killed. So it was good in that regard. What's it like being mayor of a community um, going through something like that? Well, certainly it's, um, it, keeps the adrenaline <laughs> running, uh, crisis management. We do have plans in place for the, these sorts of things, but and um, practice emergency preparedness. Uh, so uh, everybody knew what they should do, and uh, our fire chief is terrific at getting things organized. And uh, they, I've had comments from the um, emergency operations center that the uh, Lake Country crew were really, really good organizers. So that was good.